Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. In this video, I will explain star delta connection or we can say that the types of interconnection of three phase systems are explained here which is further classified into star connection or delta connection. So let's see what is phase means. Phase means a winding or a circuit. A phase is one of the three branches making of the three phase circuit. We know that in three phase circuit we are having three different phases so it is one of the phase. Here phase means winding or a circuit. Now uh, as far as the connection of three phase winding is concerned it is categorized into two main parts. One is star connection and one another one is delta connection. So let us see first what is the need of interconnection that is why star connection or delta connection is required. The reason behind is that uh, if phases are not interconnected but are kept separate then each phase will require two connector one for phase and another one for neutral that is to complete the circuit and therefore in uh, such a case there we will require six different conductors for three phase wiring. For example we are having a red phase so hey, here we will require two different wires one for the power supply and another one to complete the circuit that is we will require one phase and this one is actually a neutral so in each case we require a phase and a neutral so here also you can see that for yellow phase you will require two wires and for blue phase also you will require two wires so in this case we require six conductor for the transmission of the electricity and therefore it makes the system expensive because we are requiring six different conductors in this case now if if we do interconnection in this case the need of conductor will reduce so the use of conductor further reduce and therefore it will save some conductor material and therefore it will be economical to transmit the data as well as, uh, to transmit the electricity as well as system becomes simple to handle and that is the need of interconnection. So the first type of connection is star connection. In this method, the interconnection of similar ends are either starting ends that is R1, Y1, B1 or ending uh, that is R2, Y2 or B2 are joined together and they forms one and as shown in the figure. So this is, we, uh, we know that for three phase connection we are having one red, one yellow and another blue that is red, yellow, blue, RYB wires are there. So in this case, these three different conductors if we connect similar phase for example R2, B2 and Y2 are connected together here and they are forming one junction which is known as N. This N is also known as star point or neutral point. So if we connect these ends of three different phases it is known as star connection. You can either connect this R1, B1 y1 to one point or you can connect r2 b2 or y2 to the one point the same point is known as star point or neutral point the three free ends of star connected star connection are called line terminals now these are the free ends so this r1 b1 and y1 these are known as the line terminals the conductors connected to the line terminals are called as line conductors. So these are the conductors connected here to these three phases and therefore these are called as line conductor. Lines are used to transmit the power from three phase generator to three phase load. So this is used for trans transmission. In general also we see uh, over a transmission line that three different wires are there. These are nothing but our three different phases known as lines or uh, simply line conductors. 
Now let us see the star connection for three phase three wire system. What is this? Actually, we are having this system as shown in previous figure. So we are having this star connection. We are connecting it to a common point. This is known as star point or a neutral point. Now note here that even though we are having these three different lines R1, uh, Y1, and B1. That was B1. Yeah, this is B1. R1, B, uh, Y1, B1. Or we can say that it is I R that is current through red, then I B and Y I Y. These are three different currents. Okay. Now we are joining the second ends. It means that this is a single end having the same current flowing he here, and and actually. These three different conductors can be replaced by a single conductor, which is meeting at point N. That is, it, it is meeting at neutral point, and therefore we are here. This these three wires are replaced by a single wire known as neutral wire, and here you can see that it is indicated by I N here, and it is equals to sum of these three different current that is I R, I Y plus I B. Now, in this case, you can see here that these are the three different wires, which is indicating phase. That is, I R, I Y, and I B is indicating phase current here. So, uh, these are known as phase wire, whereas this one is neutral wire. So, in total, there are four wire and three phases, and therefore, such interconnection is known as four wire three phase system. There are four wire. One is R, second one is Y, and third one is blue, and fourth one is neutral. So it is four wire, three phase system. Now second star connection is three wire, three wire, three phase system. So in this case, you can see here that it is I N, which is equals to I R I plus I Y plus I B, and and actually these are the three three different phases, and they are separated by one twenty degree. That is, uh, they are having the phase difference of 120 degree, and uh, actually uh, this is nothing but the vector sum. So I n bar will be equals to this one. So uh, overall, its vector sum is zero. As its vector sum is zero, I n is actually zero. That is, no current will flow through this wire, and therefore, in this case, we can say that uh, this wire can be. Neglected. We can omit this wire, and therefore we will get another type of connection. This is shown in this figure. The figure will remain as it is. Only this neutral wire is now removed. So this is a system where where we are having three phases and three wire, and therefore this system is known as three phase three wire system. In general, we can say that we are having two types of star connection. One is three phase four wire system. Another one is three phase three wire system. In three phase four wire system, one neutral wire is more, which is added over here. Whereas in case of three phase three wire system, this neutral is neglected. Now let us see which are the terms related with this star connection. This was the star connection here, and we have converted this into this system. Now. Uh, there are some terms. The first one is phase voltage. The voltage across phase is known as phase voltage. Now, in this case, the voltage between this phase wire and a neutral wire is nothing but a phase voltage. So, Vrn is uh, here the phase voltage between this re uh, red phase and a neutral. Similarly, we will get Vyn, V, Y, uh, V. B N. So these are the three different phases. The actually, phase voltage is denoted by V P H. Now, similar is phase current. The current which flows in the phase is known as phase current. So here, I R, I B, and I Y are the phase current, and this phase current is denoted by I P H. The third definition is the voltage between any two lines is called line voltage. Now we know that this is red line and this is blue line. So the voltage between this red and this blue is is actually V R B, and uh, this is a line voltage. Similarly, the voltage between Y and blue 
will also be there this will be known as line voltage it is denoted by vl okay so line voltage is denoted by v as uh, voltage is indicated by v and l is used for the line similarly phase for phase it is ph now the last definition is the current which flows in the line is called as line current so the current flowing through these two dependent lines uh, phases that is the current flowing through this plus this phase is known as the line current and it is denoted by il now note in case of a star connection this phase as well as this phase they are connected in series and therefore we can say that il is equals to iph because in series the current remains constant and therefore in this case that is in case of star connection il equal to iph now let's move to the next important point this is delta connection or mesh connection so in this matter actually again uh, connections are there but here the dissimilar ends are connected for example for this red wire we know that we are having this r1 and r2 terminal now one r1 terminal is connected to blue and sec one, second terminal that is r2 is connected to yellow phase here similarly for this yellow phase one is one end is connected to red and another one is connected to blue and for blue this is one end b1 is uh, connected to y2 and b2 is connected to r1 so here dissimilar ends are joined together and this is known as delta connection and in this case also uh, due to three terminals form due uh, due to interconnection are called as line terminals so these are the line terminals we, if we consider this this one is one this is second and these are this is the third this is this is called as line connection and uh, the current flowing through this is also known as line current here so uh, this is the delta connection here uh, we know that this connection this connection is made here and they are forming a, they are just like a symbol delta and therefore it is known as delta connection now uh, these two lines are actually indicated by single lines because they are joined together and therefore we are having three different phases here three different currents here ir iy and ib in this case and uh, for this we can say that in case of delta connections we are getting these three different lines and therefore it is known as three phase three wire supply so a delta connection is also known as three phase three wire supply because it is having only three phases and three supply lines the three windings are joined together in series to form a closed mesh so they are joined so, uh, such that they form a closed mesh and this mesh looks like a symbol delta greek greek letter delta capital delta and that, that's why this mesh connection is also known as delta connection now let us see the terms related with the delta connection again same uh, terms are there that is voltage across the phase is known as phase voltage it is indicated by vph that is voltage across let let's say this is this one will be vph also this is vph also this is vph that is the voltage across this phase the current flowing through this phase is known as phase current and it is indicated by iph similarly the voltage between any two lines is called line voltage here and in this case also you can say this one and this one the voltage between these two lines are known as line voltage which is indicated by vry vbr and vyb here the y and b is br and ry is indicating the color color of the phase itself so this is the vl that is line voltage and the last term is line current the current which flows through the line is called as line current now uh, this is this one and this one that is r y i i r i y and i b are itself the lies line current here and in this case note here that this phase are connected parallelly here and therefore a phase 
R is connected across two lines. We can say that this phase is connected across two lines. That is, in this case, it is red and yellow, or it is yellow and blue. So, so for parallel circuits. The voltage remains constant, and therefore we can say that V L equal to V P H in case of a delta connection. So these are the terms related with the delta uh, star and delta connection. Overall, the definition for phase voltage, phase current, line voltage, and line current remains as it is. The only change will be the V L and I L. V L equal to V P H in case of delta and I L equals to I P H in case of star connection. So friends, if you like this video, please share with your friends and please subscribe our channel. Thank you.